We're down here in Texas, going to Lone Star Throwdown 2024. This is like my fourth year going here. I say it every year, this is like my favorite show of all time. Tons of great people, tons of cool trucks, tons of money, because Texas has got a lot, a lot of money and a lot, a lot of big trucks. Everything's bigger in Texas. Here at the Airbnb, we got my grandpa's truck and we got Big Show the tow rig. Today is the first real day of the show. Yesterday was setup day. Kevin and Brian actually took 100% rain over setting up everything for the show and my grandpa. I've been really sick all week. I've been stuck in bed all week, not able to move. So Kevin came by the house, grabbed Big Show, hooked up the trailer with my white single cab Casper and the trailer brought it down here, picked up Megan from Third Coast Suspension, brought all of it to the show. My grandpa went all the way to Cole Motors in Indiana, got the big blue truck, the big blue second gen, with a brand new 1200 horsepower motor, took it to the show, dropped it off. They've been setting everything up, getting everything detailed for me. Shout out to all of them because I, I literally wouldn't be able to come to the show with all my trucks if it wasn't for them. I would have literally just stayed home. But they got everything set up for me. I haven't seen any of the new stuff for Megan. I haven't heard the 1200 horsepower second gen yet. So this is kind of like a reveal for me i get to go to the show and see everything for the first time and you guys get my genuine reaction super duper early we're gonna go there before the crowd comes because lst is ginormous every year and uh check out all the trucks get a good look at everything before there's massive amounts of people crowding around everything i've seen a couple sneak pieces like megan and the blue truck they're insane so I'm really excited to go look at them. Y'all have less than a week left to get her to win Papa Smurf. The 2021 Ram 3500 Mega Cab Cummins leveled on some 26 by 14 American Force wheels wrapped in 33 inch Venom tires. Inside, it's got a fully loaded Laramie leather interior with a sunroof, 1200 stars, and that big fifth gen screen that everybody loves. It's got 30 rock lights, it's color match, it's got horn blaster train horns, and so much more. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And on March 1st, I might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck. Good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video. We're walking up to JTX booth. They have like more trucks here out of any other booth of the entire show. How many trucks are here? Like 40, 50? 60? <laughs> A dumb amount of trucks. They're all pretty cool. These are some nasty ass trucks. We'll get to all of them. But uh, that big bitch. <laughs> it might be the coolest one here, but I'm a little biased. Ooh, the second coolest one. Hi. Jesus. Oh my God. That's definitely bigger than last time. Holy sh Bro, what the <laughs> What? Is that all the way up? No. Uh, yes. No. Oh yeah. Yes, okay. Only... I was hoping so. So it they added a lot. Where would you even start? Um. <laughs> the shocks are mounted fucking sideways on the rear. <laughs> there's fucking chains somehow, and there's a lot more gold, which I'm sure I paid for. Oh, the stabilizer. Nice. Now my steering bar won't go all fucking sideways whenever I'm trying to turn around a corner. Uh, the rear is triangulated now. Instead of going to right here, now it goes to the middle. So it should be a lot more stable. Those are fucking sick. I've never seen anybody do that. Let's get to the shocks. I don't even know what's going on here. Kevin, what am I looking at? Okay, so we'll start with the back's not all the way up. The back's not all the way up? No, it's not even close. It, it goes high as fuck. I can literally fuck. fucking stand on it. Goes up another, it goes up another 10 inches. Jesus Christ, Kevin. Oh my God. So. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? built you that. Oh my god. Okay, so he basically he texted me. And mind you, this is all the work of Kevin over at Third Coast Suspension. He likes to call me every once in a while. Whenever the truck is over there, he likes to call me and be like, hey, I got this idea. And then he tells me. And I'm like, yeah, sure, sounds cool. Do it. He was like, I'm gonna make the shocks for the rear chain driven. Yeah, the shocks were normally in the back and they look decent, but it was kind of just normal. So now there's a bar. Okay. It goes to a sprocket system. It's a hub. I see. Another one. Another hub. This is the tensioner. Dope. And then you have another hub. That's where the shocks will connect. There'll be a bar here, and this will be your shock to go through all this system to act as this shock. Cool, I see now. Okay, okay. So basically, when the truck goes up and down, this shock is gonna move side to side via that chain, because why the f not? You, you know, it, it was too simple to mount a massive shock on the back. That's that's too normal for Kevin. So we had to make it. I have a I have a, a Hayabusa on the back of my truck, basically. No, it needs to be a Hayabusa. Right now, so the only problem we figured out so far, the chain is too small for the truck. Surprise, surprise. We need like a street bike chain instead of like a dirt bike or bicycle Excavator chain. Excavator track. Yeah. So we're gonna have to 24 carry gold plate another chain. It's all work in progress still. Mind you, this is stuff that's not even like, I don't, not even just been done. I don't think anybody's even thought to <laughs> do anything like this. This will probably be in like the testing stage for a very, very long time, but this is insane. I'm impressed. And so much more gold. He said, how much more gold do you want? And I said, all of it. And he definitely did that. 
they keep making it more complicated. Like, remember when we first picked it up, and I was like, oh yeah, this is this is kind of insane. This, that looked like a rough country lift compared to what we have now. <laughs> Yo, gay, you what still a, own this? I do. I thought you, I thought you sold it. Fuck no. <laughs> I ain't never selling this thing. Half a million dollars, and I and this I might crazy. not tell you to f off. I might respectfully tell you no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so big. These are 30s and. 58s? They look tiny. They look like 35s. And the bad thing is, this is the street truck. We still got one bigger coming. <laughs> yeah, I hear this one? Bro. Is it loud or something? So we got some Polaris Expeditions. I don't know if you know who these, or what these are. How much do these run? Like stock? 50, some 50, 50 to 60. 50. So basically we got two 2024 limited F-350s sitting right here. <laughs> but they're just for the mud. And they got massive S sound systems in the back. Chris said I have to hear it. Yeah. Do you have the keys or no? Oh, gotcha. Matt's also got my keys, so now I can sit in my truck for the first time since SEMA. <laughs> sounds kind of, sounds like a Honda Civic. And this is an LS. 6.2 LS? He's a pro charger. Yeah. So these actually have transmissions instead of belt driven, so you can actually drive these like on the highway. I, I would drive it on the highway. I make it a dually and then drive it to the gym every Put day. Put on street tires. Dually on street tires. Yep. That'd be fucking nasty. You know what's sad? There's a monster truck over there, and Megan's like still almost the same. Shop. And I'm gonna drive mine to Whole Foods. Hear this quiet ass sound system real quick. Favorite part of the whole truck? Word. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? The LEDs so they don't pop up. There's that big turbo sound. What did you got from yesterday? <laughs> Casper, I didn't even think it was gonna be a show truck. I thought it was gonna be a daily driver. I know, just for fun. First day we're doing fucking burnouts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nice, this guy's gonna beat the shit out of me. No, we treat you nice. I haven't even sat in this truck since SEMA. We treated this one very nice. Yeah, you guys got to drive it around all day yesterday. I was nice. Lucky asses while I was just dying in my bed. It's a hood stack. It needs a hood stack. No, it needs bed exits. Like, yeah, the dual? Fender. Yeah. Yeah. Not wow. I forgot the turbo sound of it. It only has 7,000 miles. Okay. Back. I like it a lot higher. Up. Uh, Up. Uh, now you gotta wait. Now you're gonna have to stay here for a while. It has to go up to 1,000 PSI. 10,000. <laughs> Stop. Let's see how high it goes. Actually, go. yeah, go up, go up all the way in the rear. Up. Yeah, that's as much as you can go, but it goes up. Mini Megan. No, it was Why definitely the easier than Megan. Entertaining sell selling this thing. I fucking love this truck. I drove for five feet and got more excitement than half of my vehicles. <laughs> my new truck is right there. Which I get it. I'm gonna steal it. Come on, blower. You know this motor was out of it like 48 hours ago. Wild. What well, makes it really easy? I mean, everything's tucked in. Did you just say it's really easy? Well, no, it, it makes it e okay. easier. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, you think those seats are comfy? Yeah, I don't. You could probably I drive the Chick Fil A, right? Yeah, maybe. The metal is it, it really conforms to your body. All right, we have my buoy truck here. It has a 1200 horsepower, 12 valve, thanks to Cole Motors. My grandpa went and picked it up for me in Indiana. Thanks, grandpa. Appreciate it. Uh, it might be dead. It might not be dead. Yeah, it's like very dead. It's very dead. Very dead. Let's push in, jump I'm started. I'm really trying to hear this truck. Yeah. I paid quite a bit of money just to be able to hear it idle very <laughs> nicely. So, I mean, we could take one of those Lambos over there, and then we could just steal the batteries out of them. Yeah, it should work. I'm pretty sure. Somebody got a jump box. All these tr show trucks. Hey, shout out to SCP. They got me a jump box. <laughs> we go start my second gen. We'll see how right. easy it is. Well, I don't know why we don't have I 10 know. of these. You're rich and you don't have a, a, a good jump box. I'm not rich. He's rich. It's my grandpa. Oh, yeah. You have the money. Hey, I can't pay attention.
<laughs> Come here, Kevin. I need you to hold this phone before I fall. Is it recording? Okay, let's see if you fall. You said let's see. No, I, would get I mean, Damn. if we're gonna get some footage, we're gonna have it where you're. Holy falling. fuck, Gabe! I don't think. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, this bitch is bad. Holy. I didn't even know shit. he was doing all this. I forgot how big that turbo was. It's big. You can see that motherfucker's here. huge. Oh my god. Well, basically, we got a big turbo over an even fucking bigger turbo and a whole bunch of go fast shit and a very, very stock pump. Definitely bone stock. Definitely not cranking like a lot of work on. Black on red, red on black, right? Yep. Okay. You might not want to stand there when I start it. Yeah, f that. <laughs> Get a lot of smoke on my face. Hey, that was a fucking cold that stuff. Not, it's not cold. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. just fuel. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how much timing is on this motor, but I think when we took it out, it had like 24 or 26 degrees. Oh my God. That doesn't sound like how it did before though. So may or may not have more juice left in it. We shall see. Huge improvement from uh, the motor that was in before. Also yeah. it's hood stack now. Surprise, sorry. Got a temporary one right now. So it's just black. But I got a brush one being made that's gonna match like the wheels and all the overlays and everything. So once that's on, I think it looked minty. I was gonna do a bed stack and then I just did it because uh, the compound turbo setup, I forgot you kinda need to do oh, a yeah, bed stack we, with we it. I definitely forgot about so. that. We might low-key die driving this thing, I'm not gonna lie. Probably. Sounds terrible. My grandpa said he drove it down the road and he said, first gear, I want to do a wheelie. Yeah. I'm noticing a trend here. All my trucks that I love the most have bags. Yeah, I know. I think if it didn't bag, I don't want it, to be honest. It's just so nice. <laughs> you got it. Can you give it a little round? Good again. Go ahead, hit a little bit. Now you have a problem. <laughs> this is gonna want a second gen in. <laughs> yeah. It's over. He already wants a second gen flat, man. So right. for there you go. Yeah. It's over with. Can we just talk about the fact that the whole reason why this truck makes 1200 horsepower now is because it had a simple oil leak and I was too lazy to fix the oil leak. So I literally put a I whole forgot it was leaking. It. And ain't no oil leaking. And I just rubbed the piss out of it. Dude. <laughs> well valve, it doesn't leak oil. Cole, you did a good job. More power, no oil leak, more fun. Probably gonna blow up in How like much three do you give seconds. It? Huh? How long do you give it to it? So it either blows or starts leaking. Do I get to drive it outside of the show? Definitely gonna drive I it. I say about either that street or that stop That's light. Okay. Uh, probably the stop light. <laughs>
that truck? Yeah, he redid it. Big as fuck. Not gonna say anything, but it looks like he uh, used Megan as some inspiration. Those tires look a lot like mine. These are 64s. 64s. Yeah, that's fucking massive. He changed his axle setup too. No more off the side. No more off the center. side. Dead center. Front rear. That's crazy. And they got bags underneath the coil over. That's pretty what the fuck? It's up, boy. Nice. Oh, and they changed the front end. No, I'm, uh, no ball joints at all, yeah. New front ends? No ball joints. No ball joints. Monster truck shit. This is so then when I jump it, it doesn't break in half, right? They're gonna let me jump this one, I'm, I'm assuming. I, think so. I got invited to his house. He said, you can come and play with the trucks whenever you want. I was like, I don't think you want that built. <laughs> so everybody's like, once Megan's suspension is all the way done, what's next? That. I want a nasty ass sound system like this. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about this truck is the sound system. The suspension is cool, right? It literally has a hydraulic bed cover and then massive sound wall. So do they do that while it's like low on the ground or tall like that? They do it when it's tall. Damn. <laughs> I bet that bitch is loud. I literally want it for the sole purpose of washing other trucks. I want to put this truck in front or like garage parties or concert, have an outdoor gym and use GFP Megan concert. as the sound system. All of the above. I just, I just want a massive sound system. I think that'd be sick. This time's like 20 though, because you know, go big or go home. Good job. The kid that owns this, he's like 12 too. That is the nastiest two wheel drive second gen I've ever seen. And I own Murder Ram. What the actual The front end is fucking yeah, mean. Is it bad? It has to be. some fitment right there. That fitment? You see where the exhaust comes out of? Where? Look under it. Where? Just dumped into the wheel. Literally. Awesome. <laughs> this paint is fucking beautiful. You see that shit in the sun? It'll That's hurt your insane. eyes. The hood's fucking baller. I don't even know what fucking front bumper that is. Danny was making fun of it for my price. It's the SS bumper. It's a Chevy SS bumper it's, molded it's not. second gen. <laughs> is it not? No. That's fucking baller. And I love all the honeycomb and shit. Fuck. He needs to build me some. This is like one of those things just on a knock flat. Only thing I'm pretty sure is a five speed. Damn. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Okay. my grandpa. Hey. Grandpa. Holy shit. Looks like you did it. Did he hire you? <laughs> that was amazing. That's insane. And it's got seats for all the, you know, friends. Not yeah. the biddies. Definitely yeah. the friends. It's a welded roll pan though. Welded roll pan for sure. And then two Those are hard. Hard. Lights. Danny. Come on, I need him for my blue truck <laughs> and murder ram and the one I'm about to buy. Can it be this one? I want this one. You think it would take I'd 30? Drive the, I'd drive the shit out of this one. Probably not. He'd probably take 60. I need an extended cab, then I'll have all three. I'll have a yeah. cab, extended cab, crew cab, and then I'll retire. That's it, yep. Oh my God. It's about time. I'm sorry. I overslept, no, I'm just kidding. Kevin said, <laughs> he's still in Tennessee. I was like, fuck, no, he's not. I, I don't think anybody understands. I barely made it to this show. Like, I thought I was gonna die on like Wednesday, and then Thursday I was like, okay, I might be able to go, and then Friday I hopped on a flight. Good. It, it was stressful getting here. Oh, was it? Fuck uh, yeah. Side quests? Yeah. My trailer broke yeah. like three times, apparently. I don't know, I wasn't here, so. It's broke again. Hey, you gotta look at this, Tom. Yeah. Long time no see. How you doing? Yeah. Chilling. Cardi looks good. Clean as hell. Good job. Yeah. Still spin. When are you gonna let me have it back? That's uh, up between y'all two. I, I he would wants, say uh, He wants limited, you got. 2024 limited, does that work? All right, when you turn 16, whatever the hot truck is out, I'll, I'll bring it to you and then I can take this one back. Sound good? Good, all right. I want you to drive to prom though first. Yeah. Uh, you gotta take your first hot date up in this truck. All right. For the people that don't know, this is Cardi B. This is my first truck. Uh, dope as hell. Love it. That's the new owner. They're awesome. They're based with my family. Anyway, this show, LST, like four years ago, I came to it for the first time. I drove this truck from Chicago to Conroe, Texas. It took me 22 hours and it was on boggers, just like this. It was awful, not gonna lie. It was definitely not like driving a Honda Civic, but we did it. Kind of cool that the truck is here uh, with the new owner. Obviously I gave it away. Cool to see the truck here still four years later with the same lift that I drove it down here on, which is fucking insane. And you built that lift. And I built it with my bare hands. All right, this is the only way I can talk about the entire JTX booth is by standing on a hill a mile away. That's the JTX booth. Nobody does it like us, just saying. Plot. <laughs> Pick out some of my favorites. Got that nasty ass green version. Got Chris, the manager of JTX. He has his personal Chevy right there. Hella any levels, tons of new body style forwards. Got Iggy, G56 swapped, pitch in. Owned by Blake. Got slammed Escalades, whole bunch of slam trucks. Casper, got a whole bunch of side-by-sides, got a bunch of fifth gens, more Illumi duties. All the way back there is Megan. You can see it pretty well from here. At some point today, some Lambos and R8s are pulling up. I don't know why, it's not like JTX makes Lamborghini wheels. Wait, do they? I think that's a new thing. Oh, uh, they, they started that? Yeah. Word. All right, that's fucking sick. 
Yeah. First year I came here, there was no supercars. Second year, there was like yeah. one or two. That was like 10 supercars. Yeah. I'm really liking that part. Jeez. Oh, that's a JTX one. No shit. It is a JTX one. Hell yeah. Damn. And they fucking spin. They, <laughs> what? That's pretty sick. Well, all right, we need to go shop. We need to buy a brand new R8 on the way home. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's not for me. It's it's for science. Yeah. We have to know what it's like to have JTXs on a supercar. I don't good, need the R8, you know. but, like, we, we got to buy it, right? Yeah. Just ask my dad. Tell us to make you some billet. JTX, can you please make me some beadlocks for my GTR? Yeah. That'd be nice. That's what you guys should work on next. So, I don't know what's more expensive. Car wagon or the actual wide-body Huracan? That paint. I would probably still take the power wag. Got a wide body Supra. Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk wide body of Huracan. This is fucking sick, like the bait thing. Like if he came up and he was like, hey, I want Megan, I'd be like, I'd, I'd have to actually sit down and think about it. I, I, I don't know. I need I need me a wide body Huracan for sure one of these days. That looks like out of a movie. Yeah. It's like a spaceship instead of a car. Some turbos or no? No. It does have a Dubai plate though. That has at least a thousand horsepower. Right, Dubai plate, thousand horsepower. <laughs> Thing got two parachutes. That's gonna be the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Yes, 100%. <laughs> See, this is why I don't need a car, because that's the only car that's impressive to me. Just a light million dollar build. Yeah, really it is. <laughs>